Yo, yo, what's goody guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Pluto and I'm here dropping FL Studio gems. Have you ever looked up at the top left corner of your FL Studio and peeped that your whole government name is there for the world to see? Yeah, I know, crazy, right? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change that and really personalize your FL Studio and enhance your experience a little bit. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Now, before I go through the steps of how to go about changing your username at the top of your FL Studio, I wanna pose the question of why? Why would you even wanna do this? And it's very simple for the first reason. Maybe you just don't want your name out there like that. I mean, people come over, you might collaborate or you might have a studio and you wanna get that changed. Another reason why is because you might be a streamer or someone that screen records their beat making and you want to get rid of your name at the top i have the solution for you and we're about to get into it all right now so there are going to be two separate parts of this because there seems to be a different method to do this between fl studio 24 and the previous versions of fl studio so i'm going to start with fl 21 you want to go into options project info and you're going to see a screen like this now inside of the screen right here in title is where you want to change the name. And as you can see, it instantly changes at the top. So I'm going to put Pluto back there. So the next step that you want to do is that you want to save this as your default template when FL Studio opens. You get me? So what we're going to do next is go to file. Uh, save as template. Uh, you can put whatever you want to. Pluto uh, default. Alright. Just put default too because I think I have a default in there already. Just go to default. It's going to save it. You want to go to options again. And then this time you want to go to general settings. And inside of general settings, you want to go to this spot right here that says start a project default template. And you want to change that to the one that you just made default to so that's the one that i just made default to so anytime i start up my fl studio now it will show up as pluto and you can put it as any anything as you want any text you want i haven't tried any special characteristics but keep it simple you know what i mean just put your producer name produced by whoa 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 uh uh you get the idea all right so with that being said we're going to move on to the second part which is doing this in fl studios 24 which is the latest updated version of fl studios all right so i'm here in fl studio 2024 um and let me just get my bearings real quick because i don't use this this version often so when you're inside fl24 you want to change your username at the top the first thing that you want to do is go to options and go to general settings inside general settings you want to go down here all the way to the bottom where it says show license information in the hint panel and you want to change that to license plate instead of username It's by default is going to be username and you want to change it to license plate and that's going to generate this um this license plate uh number letter sequence at the top and then you would just proceed with the same method as i just showed in the uh previous method of FL21. All right, so you just go into info, Pluto, and then it's gonna be right back there. Again, you wanna go into file, save as template, template two, save that, bow, okay, options. General settings, bow, there we go. Go back down here, default template, again. We just put the one that we want in there. Template two is what I just made. Default template, default template. All right. I don't know why I repeated that like that, but all right. So that's pretty much how you go about that. And now you can go about your days, not worrying about your government name sitting up there in your FL studio. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about real quick is troubleshooting. You shouldn't really come into any issues too much regarding this but if you do run into an issue just restart fl studio and you should be good to go all right so that pretty much brings this video to a conclusion thank you for tuning in if you found this tutorial helpful 
definitely give a thumbs up share and subscribe and make sure you tune back for future videos if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see done just leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it and i'll see you guys next time